Hi, I'm Marcus. I'm a professional chef and I've also got a pub restaurant in Shropshire. Today I'm going to show you the product we've got here, which is a wearing deep fill sandwich maker. I'm going to show you a range of recipes you can do in this. I'm going to start off first of all with a sandwich, but it's not just any sandwich. We've got some lovely focaccia, which as you can see there, I've just sliced in half, so we've got two sides of that. We've got some pre-cooked chicken, which is all ready to go, some lovely buffalo mozzarella, some slow roast tomatoes, and we've got some rocket there as well. So the first thing we're going to do is just to turn on our sandwich maker. Now it's got three settings on there, low, medium and high. I'm going to put this on high because we want it nice and hot for this sandwich maker. So we're going to pop that in, and we're going to turn that on, and just when that green light pops on, that's ready to go so it's at temperature. So next, let's take the top off. Let's grab our chicken. And we're just going to take some slices of the chicken. You can cut them to however thick you want. You don't want them too thick though, because you want to get a nice balance of everything in there. We've got the mozzarella, we've got that tomato and the rocket. And then just spread these right across so you've got a good selection. And there we go. Next thing we're going to do is pop some of our tomatoes in. Okay, and then just sprinkle those in again. Same for both sides. Next thing we're going to do is get the mozzarella. And you want to try and get a buffalo mozzarella, so you want something really soft. So when you're going to put it in there, it's going to melt down, really, really ooze out that sandwich, and just make a nice, soft texture inside that sandwich. So one of those balls is enough for both of these, just to spread over there. Next thing is going to be the rocket. So let's just pop a bit of seasoning on there. A touch of salt and a touch of pepper as well. And then I'm going to pop our top on top of the focaccia. And you can see now on the top, you've got the green lights come on and that's now ready to go. So it's up to temperature, ready to put the sandwich in. So let's open that up. I'm just going to carefully lift this sandwich into there. And then we're just going to close this down. There we go. And then it'll just clip on. And there you go. We've got that in there ready now. And you just need to leave that. And it's down to your judgment, really, just to lift it off. Make sure you're happy with it when it's ready. I would probably say it's going to be about four or five minutes, something like that. OK, so I'm happy that this sandwich is done now. So let's just undo the handle, lift the lid open. You can see it's got a lovely colour on there. I'm just going to get a little palette knife just to lift this out. And this will all come out in one piece. Just be careful because those plates are hot. And I didn't have to put any oil or butter in there because with a toasty maker, they're non stick plates, so it just comes out really simply like that. I'm just going to slice those open so you can see inside there that lovely filling we've just made. Pop that onto the board there. A little touch of rocket. And there you go, we've made a lovely tomato, chicken, mozzarella and rocket deep filled sandwich and that's ready to go. Okay, so I've shown you a great recipe to make a really nice sandwich in the sandwich maker. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make an omelette. First thing we do is grab our plates straight from the dishwasher, pop those in, and we're going to turn that on. Okay, so let's get started with our omelette. First of all, I've got some eggs. You just need a very light whisk. We've got six eggs there. So get those ready. And then the other ingredients I've got, I've got some chopped tomatoes, we've got some spinach, some nice mature cheddar, and some salt and pepper. So what we're going to do is grab our tomatoes. Good sprinkling of cheese. 
And then the next thing you want to do is make sure we grab some of this spinach. And I'm just going to chop this so it's a little bit finer. Pop that in there with the rest of the cheese and the tomato and the egg. And then obviously very important, making sure we do a little bit of seasoning. And just mix those together, just so that it all binds in there. Okay, so the machine's ready to go, the green light's on the top, so we're now ready to put everything in there. And all you do is just lift the top. First thing we're gonna do, just to stop it sticking, is just get some little bits of butter and just pop these into each corner which is just going to help it cook, add a little bit of flavour and also just stop it sticking to the bottom. And you're probably thinking, how is this going to work? How is it going to come out? But what happens is when you put that egg in there, you close the top and you've got heat from both sides. So it just allows the egg to lift up and it goes nice and fluffy. So now that's melted down a bit, we're going to pour this in. And you need to make sure you get it right to the edge so it's going over that first bit there and that'll allow it just to increase in size. So there we go. Now we're going to close that up, click it in, and just leave that probably for about two or three minutes, but keep coming back and checking it just to make sure it's risen okay. Okay, so that's ready to go. So let's just turn that off and lift the lid. Grab ourselves some uh, rubber tongs, and we're just going to lift these out nice and carefully. As you can see, they come out in individual bits, which is great. So really, you've got sort of four portions of omelette here. And then I'm just going to chop some chives, just to sprinkle over the top of this. And there you go, an omelette in a deep fill sandwich maker. Okay, so I've shown you a great sandwich recipe in there. I've also shown you an omelette. Now I'm going to show you something a little bit different. We're going to do a sweet pastry in there. First of all, let's turn on the sandwich maker. Pop that on to about medium to high. And then I've got some really simple ready roll pastry straight from the fridge. Grab a knife and we're just going to score down the centre of there. And then what we're going to do is we've got some apple puree and some blueberries. And we're just going to pop this inside. And we're doing it on both sides. You want quite a nice amount of filling in there. Then grab your blueberries. Pop some of those in top. So make sure you just push down those blueberries so they go straight into the apple puree. Okay, so that's about right. Next thing you need to do is just to make sure that you fold this pastry over. What we need to do is get our fingers and just press those down around the edges. And the same on the other side. And then the next thing to do is just to roll the side over and do that on both sides and this all just helps make sure that this doesn't burst so we're retaining all that nice apple and blueberry mix inside there Okay, so they're both done now. So let's make sure that the uh, sandwich maker's up to heat. The green light's on, so it's all ready to go. So just lift these up really carefully and pop one on each side. Close that lid. And we're probably going to leave that for about five minutes. We don't want to have it on too high heat because we don't want it to burn. We want them to cook a little bit slower, but do keep checking them just to make sure they're really nice and browned on top. Okay, so I think that's ready now. Let's have a look. Yeah, lovely. A nice golden colour on there. So let's just remove this from here. Just by lifting it out very carefully. 
making sure we don't burst them. I'm just going to slice that in two. It's all oozing out, so really nice. And then all I'm going to do is just get a little bit of icing sugar. Just a nice sprinkling over the top. Pop a few blueberries on the plate. And there you have it, an apple and blueberry turnover from our sandwich maker.